What's up techies, Sarah here. This is how to create courses and coaching programs and products and eBooks and things that you can sell from your Techmatics account. So you can create products as a membership subscription, as one-off purchases, even as payment plans. Basically, if it's digital, you can sell it. So to create products inside your account, all you do is log in app.techmatics.com, log in with your login details, and then go down to sites and courses from there going up to memberships and courses and click on products. Now you should have a couple of templates from me, uh, how to create a lead magnet course, how to create a mini Kickstarter course and some other little challenge course templates. If you don't have those, do shoot me an email on Sarah, sorry, not Sarah, at support at techmatics.com. What hat am I wearing today? And we will be able, we'll be able to get back to you very soon and import those straight into your accounts for you. Now you, other than my little templates, will have nothing else in here. So it's time to create your first product. To do that, click on the big blue button on the top right that says create a product. And it's called product because this could be a course, it could be a free lead magnet, it could be an ebook, it could be a file, it could be a coaching program, it could be a bunch of audio files that's your own private podcast. The list of creativity is absolutely endless as to what you can sell from here. Now, uh, you do have a couple of templates to use, but really it's actually a lot easier to just start from scratch and build your own. So uh, press start building and then you're going to name your thing. So I'm going to call this my XYZ course. It's just a test. You can change that name at any time, then press create product. And then it's going to take you into your product building area. Now in this video, we're not going to go as far as adding pricing, nor are we going to be adding landing pages. That's saved for another video. I just want to show you how to actually create the course content itself. Now, the first thing you want to do is actually build out your structure. So depending on what kind of product you're creating, you will build this out, you know, very, very autonomously, uniquely to your own product. But I want to just give you a little bit of an understanding of the wording that we've used here. So here you've got your product structure and there's a little plus sign next to that. It is easy to miss, I know. But if you click on that plus sign, it's going to give the option to add categories. Now, if you're creating a course, a category is a module. OK, so try and think of the, the category being like the main sections. And then within each section, you have posts. You can even create subcategories. But let's first of all look at let's pretend we're creating a bigger course here so that I can really do this demonstration some justice. Let's call this, for instance, module one. Maybe you call it week one if you're doing weekly training. But I'm just going to call the modules just for the pure sake of demonstration here. So we keep going up and adding categories, i.e. adding modules. So I'm just going to jump in there. Let's do three modules in this particular example. So uh, we've got uh, this category that we um, we might actually remove. So let's say whether I, I actually want to remove this blank category. Um, you can, um, well, you can either just change the details. So let's call this introduction, actually. Let's call it intro just for the sake of demos here. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my XYZ course. So now I've got my introduction and inside your introduction, this is where you might put things like, welcome to the course, meet the trainer, here's a workbook before you go into your teaching. So let's put the next part of our structure in, start with these big main sections or modules or categories that you're going to go with. Now, of course, if you're just doing a lead magnet, you're probably only gonna have one category, one section, because it might just be one file that you have in here. If it's a workshop recording or a webinar recording, again, it's it's probably just going to be one section or one category because you know you're not going to have lots of different lessons so this really uh you know don't take this literally <laughs> it depends on the type of product you're putting in here but i just want to show you the features and functions so now you've got your main sections in if we're doing a big course here now we're going to want to add in our lessons so we're going to go to each module and press the plus button and in this example lessons are called posts and the reason we've not called them modules and lessons is because we don't want to confuse people who are not necessarily creating a course right you could be creating any kind of digital product so your categories are your modules your posts are your lessons so now let's go all the way through and add our lessons in so introduction we might call this one welcome to the course and um, where well, you're going to say hello to all of your students tell them what they're going to learn and um, that might be a little intro video so we've got that and we could also add in a new post 
All right, so now we're gonna, for instance, uh, let's call this one, I don't know, um, meet your trainer. <laughs> this is where you might talk a little bit about your credibility, your expertise, why you're teaching this particular topic. Um, all right, we can even um, delete our little lessons if we don't want that, that one there. We can just delete by pressing the little drop down arrow right here, okay? So um, we've got our welcome to the course, meet your trainer. Um, I don't know, maybe we've got a workbook or something here. I'm just making this up, right? So I might just put download, oopsie. Download your workbook. All right, press save. So you can see it now here how the structure of this course is starting to build out. So now we're gonna go down to module one and um, I'm just gonna call this lesson one for the sake of the example, but just as a by the way tip for the purposes of SEO and um, search engine optimization, you are gonna to wanna to give your lesson titles, uh, titles that match what people are typing into Google. And that's because your landing pages, your curriculum on your Technomatics account are crawlable by Google. So you are gonna to wanna to make sure that you're giving these lesson titles names that's going to be easy for people to find when they're searching on Google. So obviously carry on adding your lessons as many as you might have. Um, lesson XYZ, I'm just going to give you some examples here. Now, um, just for those of you who are interested in what this subcategory thing looks like, it might be that in module three, you have part one, part two, and part three with different lessons underneath. So for instance, I might just call this part one. You have this subcategory. All right. And then if we want to add, maybe let's do the let's do the example of part one, part two, part three, just so I can show you some things that you might like to think about. And by the way, I hope you uh, are not too distracted by my children in the background. <laughs> it's actually well after work hours at the moment. So um, if uh, if you're upset by the sound of children's laughter, perhaps you need a little help. <laughs> Oh, it's all in jest. All right, so we've got our part one, part two, part three. Now we can add our um, sort of lesson X, Y, Z in here. I just want to show you what it looks like, all right? So you've got um, add another post. Maybe you have something um, that would require your modules to have sections with your lessons underneath each of those sections. I don't know, right? That's up to you, depending on the way that you've decided you want to present your particular product. Alrighty, so let's pretend you've gone through, first you add all your main sections, categories, then you go and add in all of your lessons, which are called posts, um, all your subcategories, if you're going to break them down in a, in a, in a way like this. All right, so you've, let's pretend you've done that. The final stage now is to actually add your lesson content. So let's go on to our, I don't know, meet your trainer content lesson. And this will take you to the area where you can actually start adding in your lesson content. So you can see here, we've got the option to upload our files. Um, so let's go and grab a file over here. I'm gonna add something very small for example's sake. So let's pop a video here. I'll just pause this while I upload. Boom, videos uploaded. So you've got your little video in there. Uh, now a couple of things you can do is you can now add a thumbnail for your lesson. Now I do have a template for this. Um, I will pop it inside your course dashboard area if you would like uh, to get a copy of that and you haven't got it in your course dashboard area, please contact me on support at techmatics.com and ask for the Canva template for the lesson thumbnails. I'm just going to pause the video and show you what this looks like to the student. Right, I've just switched over to another course to kind of uh, show you what it looks like to a student. Uh, so I've got an example of a course here that's got all its uh, modules and its lessons in. Up on the top right hand side of your lesson building area, you can actually create press preview and it will take you to what the student sees. So you'll be able to have a look at it from a student's perspective. Um, so you'll see here they can see how many lessons that they've completed, um, if they've got their modules with each lesson inside. Um, and you can see here this is the thumbnail that they get. So that bit that we were just showing you over here, the course or post thumbnail, the lesson thumbnail rather, um, inside the student preview, the student dashboard, this is what they're seeing. All right, so you've got your lesson one, lesson two, lesson three thumbnails. Um, I've built this inside Canva. You can do the same, but if you do just want to use my editable template and you can change it to your own branding colors, you absolutely can do that. Check your dashboard first. If it's not on your course dashboard in your Techmatics account, let me know. All right, so you're going to pop up your thumbnail right there. And then you have the options here to edit your lesson title, choose Choose what module it belongs to, right? So at the moment, this is an introduction. If I wanted to move this to module two, I would just change it to being inside module two. So this is where you can move where that lesson sits. 
Um, then you can inside the lesson put text. So I know I could write down anything I wanted. I could put summary points of what I discussed inside that video. Maybe there's hyperlinks or anything I mentioned in the video. Maybe if you're an affiliate to something that you mentioned in the video, you might like to put in your affiliate links. But basically this is text that goes with the lesson if you feel it's required and complements your lesson. Um, so all formatable here, you can add in hyperlinks and images. And then finally, you can add in any downloadable files. So if there's any kind of file that you want your students to download, worksheets, workbooks, documents, whatever it might be, you can just drop those in there and you can put in multiple files. And then you're simply gonna change it to published and press save and voila, you now have your first lesson already and the cool thing is you'll see over here that um, you you can basically see over on the right hand side here that's now got a check next to it because we've published it so this is also a nice quick way of you seeing you know which videos or which are lessons you still have content to add so there we go that's as simple as it is go through and basically repeat the process for each of your lessons until your course content is ready and that is how you add a course into Techmatics from there, of course, then there's some work to do with the landing page, the funnel, and the actual checkout sequence. But that's the first step to get your product inside your dashboard.